Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. We have previously done a full series on this on the Conquest mode where we went through and pretty much destroyed everybody including the pirates, the spiders and the mad scientist which was one of the hardest fights we've actually done. We didn't meet the squid which is a shame but I will be coming back to the Conquest mode and doing another full series at some point because there's been a lot of suggestions for builds as well as just general call for it so don't worry I will be coming back to do another one of those at some point but I wanted to do a standalone video this one here because there's been several requests to do one particular building and that is essentially the Great Wall a very 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 big structure which is ground based it's a defensive structure which is essentially one big wall and then you put guns all over it and flag and troops and just have this massive absolutely monstrous big block of concrete that you can just plunk down and say right get past that Melado and uh, that's what we're gonna be building so let's go over to design and fight we'll go to the building editor and we will start now I have no idea really how we are going to build this but let's assume that we build it around the premise of a very very tall wall with flak on the top and then guns pointing whichever direction is the main area and then lots of troops on it. It will be quite weak in fact it won't have any defenses at all pointing back over I don't think but we'll, we might change that as we get into the design it really depends on how big this thing is and it, it, probably how expensive it is so let's go to structural and we'll probably go for actually do we want to go for struts I do want to it depends how do you want to base this do you want to base this thing around guns because we're going to base it around guns let's go to weapons first then we'll see what we've got so we've got saw blades we've got suspendium cannons we have to bear in mind that some of these though are some of these are not available as standard. So the aerial torpedo, you see, is a required bonus aerial torpedo. This is my favourite weapon in the game. Like I say, I I've said several times, I really want a boarding version of this, which you fire and it actually puts marines on. Um, anyway, so we've got that. Um, do we want to use that or do we want to use stock parts? I think we'll go for stock parts to start with. So we'll go for cannon, although what else have we got? We've got flat cannon, yeah, well, that is a standard part. Flamethrower is not, you can see it's a required bonus flamethrower. Oh, by the way, today's beverage is mm. a nice cup of tea. People would call it um, English breakfast tea, but it's just it's just tea, which is called tea. Um, it's Gatling gun here, which is, uh, yeah, requires bonus Gatling guns. Grape shot cannon, ooh, well, that's actually a very, very nice one. Okay. Heavy cannon is, again, requires bonus. Harpoon gun requires the harpoons. Grenades do not. Okay, I have a rough idea of what I want to do with this one. So we'll go to cannon, and we will place a cannon down here. And then one there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and then there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is about right. We will then go for a grape shot cannon. One, two, three, four, five, six, like so. We will then need to reduce that, go over to structural, go to fire door, put a fire door across like that. There we go. All the way around to protect it. And then we want to start putting a couple of other things in here. Weapons. Do rockets require? I think rockets do, yeah, they do require a bonus. Saw blade, that, ooh, that doesn't require anything. So what about, <laughs> what about that? If you get close to the bottom, you're going to get sawed up. That makes perfect sense. Cool. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it does make perfect sense, but we're going to do it because it looks cool. Right. Uh, that'll be fine. The problem with this, however, is that the arcs of the guns, if they get, they can get underneath the arc, un underneath this gun. See what I mean? Like, they can get here, and if we didn't have that, they would pretty much always be in range of a gun. Do I put the saw blade on or not? I'm tempted to put the saw blade on simply because of its lunacy. Let's stick with the saw blade for now. Let's stick with the idea of doing a saw blade thing. Okay. Okay. So, there's that fine. We then need to put, I think, probably grenades. Do I want grenades? Mm, let's have a quick look. Grenades. Mm. One, two, three grenades. 
Do that. And then you can just drop the grenades down. Yeah, that's okay. And then... What I want to do is have bombers. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. Yep, that seems about right. And then another sort of connection system like that. Okay. So if you get in there, you're going down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fairly insane. Okay. That's fine, we can deal with insanity. Let's just put some flak on the top, like that. And then what we want to do is start tapering it down. Like this. Okay. And the question is how far do we want to go with it? Well I think we I think we stop the I think we stopped curving down. In fact, we probably don't want it that much, actually. Let's demolish all of this. We want it to go across a little bit further, I believe. Like, one, two, three, four. And then we'll go down. What I'll actually do as well is I'll demolish these bits. And I will put it straight up to there. Like so, perhaps. And then all of these will be connected with just standard corridors, you see? Like that. Um, yes, I think that's about right. Okay. I think there might be a bit of an explosion damage around there that could chain react these, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a quick look at the overlays. Um, explosion damage. You know what? I think if one of these goes up, the whole thing goes up anywhere. Certainly this row at the top does. So it might be best to separate some of these. Uh, so it's, what we'll do, we'll have like a, a gap of two between here. We probably only need that, that amount of bomb there. And we'll put that up to there. One, two, gap of one. And it means that if one of the sections goes up, it's not going to take the rest of it with it. Uh, hang on. I didn't even put a gap of one there. There we are. So you can see we've got two flax, a gap, actually a fire door. So stop spreads of fire. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Like all the way along. So hopefully that will stop the massive explosions. Should really do the same thing in this front cannon section. Batteries of three maybe. One, two, three. Uh, oh no. No, we can't really. Well, we can, but... We'd have to redesign this front. Oh, we can redesign it. We can redesign it. We've got time. We've got enough time to do all this. Let's just work it out. Okay, so it's... What's that I'm placing? Is that a cannon? That is a cannon, right? Okay, so it's a cannon. 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 And then that's grape shot. Which, actually, that's the wrong way around then. So cannon there. No, grape shot. Grape shot, grape shot, grape shot. Then we want a cannon. Actual cannon. And then a grape shot. Okay. Then we'll delete this section for a, just, just for a moment. Mm, and then we'll put in the little blast corridor. There we are. And then finally that. Don't know about the I don't know about the, the the choppy bit on the front. I don't know about that. I think raising up too much might cause us some issues. So let's let's stick with this for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Mm. So ten minutes into the build almost, and we've got pretty much nowhere. But we that's okay. We we can deal with that. We do need a in command and crew a, a crow's nest there <laughs> just because we can uh yep 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 definitely deaf <laughs> this is next to like what is it uh one two three four so eight flat guns firing around him he just looks around yep i better not put my hands out of this railing <laughs> right okay so that is all of our weapons for the moment what we need to do now is work out a couple of things for, well, ammo, really. So we'll go over to resources and ammo store. And we want ammo stores pretty much opposite the guns, like that. 
And these ones will be separated by probably that. And then we'll have a fire point right at the top. And then these ones will have a fire point in like so. And then what we'll do is have this completely run around with... Um, we'll, we'll essentially ring it with... We'll ring it with the fire doors. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, we now have some gaps. So, we've got fire points, we've got fire points. Yeah, we can delete these bits here. I don't know why I'm ringing. Actually, I don't need to ring the fire points in blast doors. It's It, it'll, it just makes it more expensive. Sims, this bottom bit does not need to be blast uh, fire doors. Um, I actually didn't check, really. Corridor, deck, and... Yeah, there is there are struts. What I was going to do is actually have the struts come out a bit to protect the cannons, but... You can't because of the the way that these guns are placed, so that's a shame. We will have someone here, though, just in case someone tries to ram the thing. Right, so there's that. We've got probably enough ammo, I would hope, to keep this thing running. We will need some command and crew, so we'll go for some barracks. We'll have two... Oh, no, barracks, sorry. We'll go for... Where is it? Bunk. Bridge. Crow's Nest. Sick bear. Hang on, it must be in... Where the hell is it? I haven't started searching for something, have I? Barracks, bridge, bunk, cockpit, crow's nest, sick bear. Have I missed something? Barracks. Dozen soldiers, yeah, I understand. Um... Is it just called barracks these days for for defensive structures? I think it might be. I think I'm just having a a moment where brainy isn't working. I think it. I, I think it is just called. Um, I think it's just barracks. Dozen soldiers supplies twelve. It says. And apparently it does. You can see the air sailors got 72 to 84. So, yeah, I think it's just barracks. Okay, that's fine. Right. So, currently we have enough. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We have enough here to crew it. But, obviously, we're short on a couple of things. We haven't got uh, somewhere to order it. So, we haven't got a bridge. We haven't got a crow's nest. Oh, sorry, we have got a crow's nest. We haven't got any coal. Not that we need it. Uh, you can also place uh, single fire extinguishers, which I haven't done. Maybe it's best if I, if I do that. And what I would do is place them in these sections here. So... Go for that. One, two, three. And then similar thing here. Because one thing I don't want this thing to do is burn. One, two, three, four, five. And we've got some here as well, but I think I will... Mm, do we want another fire extinguisher around here? Mm, no, we've got some up there, we've got there, we've got there. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, that's the main area for knocking... Um, thing back into shape or putting it in uh, putting the fire out let's have some machine shops and I think we'll have machine shops top and bottom I know we're making this far bigger than necessary but that's okay I don't mind that at all so what I want to do is start finalizing the the design like Figuring out where we are going to end it. And I think, in all honesty, it's probably going to be this bit here. So we're probably not going to go any further than that. So that would technically be the bottom. I would do that. Mm. Do I want to do that? Or do I not? 
Um, many people have commented to say that my designs are generally absolutely but ugly, and you're right. If you go on the Steam Workshop, you can see some beautiful designs where they've made this ship that looks really, really nice, and they've made several f ships that all have their individual um, flair, but then when you put them all together, they look like they're from the same nation. Mine do that, but mine just tend to be a big block. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, I'm afraid. I could go around and, and, and make it look better rather than function better, but I'm trying, stress trying, to go for function. I don't think I manage that either, to be qu quite honest with you. Anyway, um, let's go for guard barracks because we haven't got any. One there, one there, and one, one and two either side there. That should hopefully defend this area up. In terms of crew, it says air sailors 96 and recommended of 75. So maybe some more defense like that. And then, you know what? I think it is just that. I think it is just make it a big square. Mm, the problem is if anything gets behind us, we are really, really, really screwed. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. So, close the overlay. No, most of my hatches can't give commands. Slightly reduce structural integrity due to a large size. Yeah, you think? We'll go to armor, by the way, and we'll say stone wall, which it is. That's fine. It's actually not that expensive, this thing, either, which is... Very, very surprising. So we need some defensive... Uh, so we, we need some supply hatches, and I'm going to place these just opposite the barracks, to be honest with you. Just just like... Uh, no, we'll place it there and there, right near the, um, the fire point. And if they want to come, then uh, they can come in. So I'm actually going to pull this out. All this. Because we could make it not be a square... Um, I'm using fire doors because I can, essentially. There's no real reason for this. And this one went up. Did it do that? Mm, not really, but whatever. That seems wrong. Let's cancel that off. What I'm trying to do is have like a... A nice little curved bit. Oh, it's because this... Ah, oh, it's because that's right next to it. That's why it looked different. Okay, that's fine. So it's that, 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 and that. All right. So those... That's all that put in. We will go for essentially what it's requiring us. So I can't give commands, which is a problem. We haven't got a sick bay either, I don't believe. So we'll put a sick bay in... We have to be careful, actually, because... If it's up here, it could explode, which I'm not a big fan of that happening, if to be honest. If that goes up, I'm not... I, I don't want that. I really don't. I'm trying to avoid that. So I'll delete that. Put sick bay up top and bottom. And then at the back, where we have command and crew, put a bridge on this, like so. And that is technically it. So put another guard barracks in, because why not? We have enough air sailors. Hopefully we have enough to take out whatever comes at us. But we'll see. And yeah, that's about it, I think. I think, yeah. What I'll do is I'll fill it with fire door, the rest of it. I mean, we could use standard corridor, but sack it. Let's just go for full fire door. In fact, this bit here. Um, it's the only bit with corridor, I think. So there you go. That is... Oh my god, insane. Um, it's, yeah, it is pretty much what people wanted. It's a massive flak tower, which is what we've got. We've got a crow's nest there. Um, some sections to stop people bumping into us. In fact, I might even go ahead and uh, place some more on the back bit here. Like that. So, like, that stops people smashing into it and damaging the thing from the back. Although most of that looks really ugly, so we'll get rid of it. <laughs> um, could do that. No, I, I like this little cut in. I don't know why. It seems pretty cool. Mm, like that. It's fine. And then those three. There we go. Right. So, there's our defensive structure. Loads of flak on the top. We've got on the front a mixture of cannon and grape shot. 
uh, in equal measure with some grenades and also bombs. So if anything comes in here, it's gonna it's gonna get essentially bombed on. Uh, if thing goes goes above it, it gets shot to hell with these flak. If it gets behind, we're dead. That is the slight issue here. But this is first design, so we will go to our painting and we will. Well, let's see what things like paint it a different color because we norm I normally don't paint this thing. Um, what about a big black defensive structure? Or would you, if you got a structure like this, would you paint it red? Would you say, right, the big red wall? <laughs> yeah, bright red, I think. We'll have our set of scales on there. Large steel nameplate right there, I think. And... I don't even know what our naming convention is for this. Uh, GDS. Generic Defensive Structure. And it is... The Red Wall. Inkton, obviously. Oh, I mean, we, we would have to do that, wouldn't we? Red Wall... Inkton, I think that says? Can't remember. We'll save design and see if it actually types that. Red wall, Inkton, yes. Save the design, and there we go. Right. Let us go to combat. Uh, no. Uh, combat, and we'll change it to day. We'll say add building. And there's the red wall. It is only 4,000. So it's actually not that expensive. It's not that expensive. So we're going to put it right at the back on the... Uh, Let's have a let's have a check. Let's be cheeky. Let's put it where the suspendium rocks favor our side. So let's put it on this side, so they have to navigate around and stuff. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. Um. Oh no. No, that's bad. That's really bad, actually, because as you can see, it's um, it's the floor has been a bit of a problem. So what I'll do is I'll uh, be a bit cheeky, as you can see, and I'm moving it along, so it's uh, it's actually flattening the. <laughs> terrain about you can actually there's all there's terrain altering tools but i'm that'll do me i think that'll be fine so there we go and it's a total of 4700 so add airship and we'll have well we've got loads of stuff we've got fighting tins we've got sawing tins we've got the bombers i think for the matter um, just matter of fairness zeppington get the zepp in there yeah one of those we will have a a land ship which will have the Spiderington, which was an interesting choice. The Propus, or the Sniperington, the Scorpionington, which we haven't really used. I'm only going to use things for um, from the from the previous campaigns. So we'll have this thing, which is already overpointed, so we can't have that. <laughs> Let's go to building. No. Airship again. Bombardington. Some of these we can't have because we we haven't taken stuff over. Mini sub, Flamington, the Reactington was always a really really good thing. The Reactington was very good. We'll have two Reactingtons. Um. Okay, and landship. What's our landship? I'm not really too sure. I said I was going to only use stuff I'd built previously on the campaign, but I'm sort of going against that now. Long Tankington. I do like the Long Tankington. The Flame Tankington was a bit of a beast, wasn't it? Because it would just go up and flame you. Uh, that gets to 4889 and I'm 4794. Okay, that's fine. By the way, I know before it is said that... When people said, oh, make a really big wall, they probably meant make it as tall as the actual map. I can see your point. I also think that, although insane and probably really good, it might be slightly problematic to build. I'm not ruling it out, though. Let's see what happens. Go! So, immediately, shots are whizzing out. You can hear the grape shot cannons going off as well as the normal cannons. There we go. It is hitting this. Yep, that's definitely working. Um, oh, I'm versing them. Okay, that's that's wrong. Uh, we'll head over here, like so, and that one over to there, and go. Let's see if we can defeat our own 
vessel. I should have put it on the other side so we weren't actually defeating it, but at least this way I know that I'm doing my utmost to beat it. So this is going to come down. We're going to then board this thing like so. Uh, the flak is really hitting us hard though, but we're going to get troops down if we actually get... No, there we go. We got troops down and we landed on the top and we have taken bits out, which is all also good. There's our boarding. There's our boarding. Underway. Boarding underway. And is it working? I don't know if it's working. Boarding seems to be... Nope, boarding is going to fail by the look of it. There is a massive explosion and no oh, good grief. There's... A lot of stuff getting taken out. You ram to there, please. I can't. Why is it not moving? Ow. Our engines are damaged. We can't do that one. The bomber is not doing it yet. But actually, I think we've managed to win. We've actually won this fight. Yeah, there we go. Look, we're right in. Okay, right. So the flame rington didn't work that well because it got just to where it needed to be. And then, um, yeah, it, 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 it got its track shot off. Now... I reckon we could... Ah, maybe we can't win this. I was going to say we'd be able to win this because our flak has been taken out. But as you can quite clearly see, yeah, we, we managed to take that out. Uh, we've got a lot of explosions. <laughs> going off there. Um, wow, it, this thing carved it in half. When the back end of the ship started falling, it went carve, 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 and all the way down. Right, we need to look at that. Exit combat, yes. Let's go to building editor, open design. Let's open the red Warlington. And let's see why that happened. So, as a first test, only moderately, moderately successful. Fire door is HP 50. A structural... Deck is HP 40. Corridor is 32. So actually, that's fine. What we did have a problem with, however, was um, these got taken out very, very fast. So I'm going to I'm going to demolish this um, section here. This is our um, our crow's nest, and then I'm going to increase the height of these struts because, as you saw, things landed on this, and that meant that it couldn't, uh, essentially when someone landed on it, it, it broke the, it, the, 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 the vessel itself just, just chomped straight through the top of the, top of the, uh, deck guns. Just, it just landed on top of it, broke all the top off. So, that is not good. So what I'll do is I will change it so we have that. So we have a crow's nest still, and as you can see we also have these struts that will, protect us from stuff landing on top like they'll absorb the impact before just landing on top of the guns that fixes that issue in terms of in terms of everything else was was the firepower okay a little bit weaker than i thought it would i think we'd have a, i thought we'd have a bit more firepower but to be fair we don't have a lot of guns but let's save the design i think that's a good change save that there we are and leave go to combat and this time i will put it on the left so add a uh, land ship no building 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 and we'll put it at the back here like that um, i'm going to move it just to demolish some of these trees as well because we don't want the trees about and there there we are slight issue with the land as you can see but eh, it's not too bad whatever it doesn't really matter too much and we'll have land ships so we will have the we could put a sniper. We could put a sniperington against us. I mean, that would not be that fair. But whatever. Airship. Don't think it'll working turn. <laughs> Grip Brickington. We've got loads of stuff we can put on here. The reactington was always good. I think we can try and take this thing over. Uh, right, we've overpointed it, so we'll click start. And we'll pause it immediately. And let's see what's going to happen. So there's our shots whizzing out. You see, that's quite good. We will start again. Uh, we are getting shot off, obviously, off the suspendium cannon from the sniper ring turn. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, which is snipe. We have got fire, 
But hopefully that'll be put out very, very quickly, which it is. That's fine. Uh, we've got our... Oh, the boarding vessel at the back there, look. And they are, they are doing exactly what they need to do. They are going straight over the top and they are boarding. Okay. That's fine. You can see we are slowly winning. That bar at the bottom is sliding over to our side. You can see the ships, though. They've gone very, very quickly around the back. And they're actually trying to ram us there. But them struts we've put in are stopping the ram. That's fine. How is our shot? Well, we are not out sniping the opponent. And as you can see, we've got some secondary explosions going on. And oh my good grief, that's it. It's going up. It is... Yeah... Yeah, that, that, that exploded quite badly, didn't it? Right, who would have thought putting loads of ammo on a big uh, on a defensive structure and when the ammo goes up, the whole thing goes up? Who would have thought? Hmm. Hmm. Well. That is a failure as a test. As tests go, that is a failure. So, I mean, we knew that we knew that we were going to get explosion damage, but I didn't know it was going to take out the entire thing. That is a problem. That is a problem. Don't know what the solution is other than splitting up this even more. That could be the solution. Right. Okay. Okay. I think I've got some ideas. Let's do another combat, and we'll see if that was just a... Let's have another... Let's have rain. No. Storm? Yeah, have a storm. Right. Let's have another fight, because that might have been a fluke where, like, just the one bit went up for whatever reason. Uh, flip these round, like so. There's that in. Okay, so there's that. And a land ship. And Sniperington wants some more because we've seen that that seems to work. We want to add a airship. Now, we're not going to have the Reactington because we've seen that that just doesn't work properly. You'll probably need to really overdo it. We'll have a Subington. Um, actually, no, because that's well going to overpoint it. This thing is quite cheap for what it is. For the amount of guns it's packing, it's quite cheap. Airship. Spiderington. Maybe a Spiderington, actually. That's about the same value. The problem is that... Hmm, do we have a... Let's have a chop, Fighterington. That's overpointed already, but we'll start that. So, firing again. So we've got the Sniper. We've also got the Spiderington, and we've got the Chop Fighterington. So, immediately, the Reactington is coming straight up and over, as it should do. Missing out the flat guns, dropping spiders, and now the spiders are going to board this thing. They're going to board it in here because there's no hole anywhere else made by uh, this thing yet. You can hear the shots whizzing out there and hitting into us. It has already chopped a little bit off. Look, we've got one bit drop off. We're still getting boarded, but we are managing to take out the spiders as far as I can tell. We are pretty much winning this. What's weird, or what's quite bad, is that you can see all of the flat guns on here have been taken out. So when once, one, once one goes, it just takes the rest out. These guns on the front are also getting taken out. But we are... Oh, there we go. There's the fire. That's the one I'm worried about. There's the explosions. There's the fire. Looks like this... Is, looks like the explosions are being contained. Are we managing to... Are we managing to fight that off? I mean, this is really the ultimate test for this thing because this is a long-range vessel that is designed to... Well, we built it to stand back and fire at maximum range and penetrate and... Yeah. Damage. Um, and damage defensive structures. Yeah, that's been, that's been defeat. So, combat again. Add building. Red Wallington V2. I'm not ruling out this being absolutely crap, by the way. I'm just saying that this land ship, putting that against it, is like the ultimate test, really. You can't get much more... You can't really get much worse than it. I mean, this is this is the ultimate as well. This is a big block of long-range firepower. So, they are siege weapons. They, they were designed so we can... So we can just um, 
sit back long range and fire. That was that was the whole point in them. Uh, we'll airship and we'll have a Zeppington because. Mm, do you want to do that? Sally, these ones have got mods on that I can't use. Mm. Okay, Zeppington. One and two. Actually, I'm going to have to move it down because I can't see uh, what the number is. Move. There. Right, it is 4860. I'm 49 and a bit. So I'm, I'm actually a little bit overpointed, but that's okay. So we've got two... Zeppelins, and we've got one of these flame tankingtons. So again, this is probably more in my favour in terms of the construct, uh, in terms of the layout and the. Um... Oh God, we've hit that thing. In terms of the selection, like what it consists of. There's the bombs getting dropped from the Zeppington. It is bombing the top of this, and as you can see, taking out the flat guns. But it is on fire somewhat. I don't think it's going to... It's like an outside view. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's blown but up. But, it's blown up. But as you can see, we haven't lost loads of guns from it landing on top of us. Oh my good grief. Yeah, that's, that's explosions. Yeah, we've, we've, we've actually only lost two guns. And for some reason that's turned round, look. It's turned round now that people are getting out. I don't know why that is, but anyway, we've lost the front end, and now they're landing on top of us. Bloody hell's bells! <laughs> yeah, uh, we've lost the we've lost the bombers and the other flak on there, but we do still have some flak. Our firepower is sufficient, I think, to finish this. They are trying to board us, but, um, you know, there's always an issue with boarding and people on the ground. It just doesn't work, essentially. <laughs> we'll ch switch this over to rapid fire. You can see for ammo, we've got loads of it. Water, we've got more than enough. And crew, we've got less than what we had because there was massive explosions. Flame tank team is just sitting ass on for some reason. I really don't know why. Yeah. There we go. Well... It's firing away. It's doing the job. Hmm. I don't know whether to call this a success or a failure. I think, as in life, the truth is somewhere in between. I think a big defensive structure can work, he says, as it just blows the crap out of the rest of that one and it's a victory. I'm just not entirely convinced this is the structure we need, or rather, I don't think it's I don't think it's badly designed. I just think that you know, as soon as one bit goes up, that's it. The whole I mean, you've seen the you know the the chain reaction explosion of the whole thing going. So, the Red Wallington version two, success or failure? Like I say, I think the truth lies somewhere in between those two. I think it's. As a proof of concept, it's shown that it can work in certain circum uh, certain circumstances. The problem, though, that is as with all defensive structures, it can't move. It can't navigate. It can't like go around vessels. It can't outmaneuver anything because it's just it's on the ground, obviously. So, yeah, it doesn't have any major weakness apart from I guess the chain reaction explosion and completely getting destroyed that's a slight weakness what I'm saying though is that it can be boarded and take on the borders it can have bomb uh, bombers and other such things like zeppelins go above it and try and bomb it and it can take those out with the amount of flat guns it's got the forward firepower is a little bit weaker than perhaps I'd like but I think it's not too bad need some work though need some work Anyway, I hope that has been an interesting build and interesting couple of fights for yourself. I am up for looking at this building again, and I'm not entirely sure what to do other than make it three times as large. We'll see. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.